So in my own lab, uh, we've been pursuing the idea that uh, the 20,000 genes in the human genome, a large fraction of them, uh, the overwhelming majority, have orthologs in other vertebrate species, suggesting that uh, they're not there uh, by chance, that when they are mutated and lost, there are clinical consequences to that. So we have started with the premise that uh, every gene in the human genome uh, will have a clinical phenotype when mutated. And we've been exploring the reasons why we haven't previously recognized these as simple Mendelian traits. And so we've been exploring the ideas that uh, de novo mutations, incomplete penetrance due to the need for an environmental cofactor or a genetic cofactor uh, uh, or other more complicated scenarios for genetics will apply uh, to these other genes. And we now have beautiful examples where in congenital heart disease and autism, de novo mutations account for a significant fraction of severe cases. Uh, we've identified uh, diseases where, such as idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, where environmental exposures uh, in the lung are required for the phenotypic expression. You inherit the mutation, you remain free of lung disease unless you have uh, inhaled toxicants. And then the third example, just uh, recently uh, we published showing that uh, the first example of epistasis in human genetics where a rare mutation is innocuous uh, in the absence of a common variant in the same pathway but together uh, these produce uh, a phenotype uh, called craniosynostosis where the bones of the skull fuse uh, at birth and require surgery to allow normal uh, growth and development uh, of the brain. So these are nice illustrations of uh, the principle that uh, probably all genes in the, not all, but uh, the vast majority of genes in the human genome uh, are there for uh, normal uh, health and uh, of uh, human beings, and when lost, they're going to be clinical consequences. So this provides a pathway for beginning to uh, identify the consequence of uh, mutation of all of the genes in the genome, and these will define therapeutic opportunities uh, for uh, bettering human health.